Hey everybody, I am giving an update on Neha. She has hardly laid down today, or at least every time I looked on the camera, she was not laying down. Excuse the stall, it was not prepped properly um, for them to be in, but it was a last minute situation. I'll work on that this weekend. So I called and talked to the vet and because she was acting colicky, but not really colicky because she was pooping, we're going to put her on sand clear for a few days. I'll keep her up probably a couple more days, um, at least through the weekend. So that way I can make sure she gets that dose because out in the pastures, when they get fed, they can move around and change to different um, buckets. So I'll work on that with her so um just want to show you my barn is not fancy it is technically a carport that has been turned into four stalls one two three and four and yeah that one right now has all my stuff in it so um the one thing i would have done different is i would have taken those partial walls all the way to the ceiling or all the way to the roof um, because when it rains, it rains into the stalls and it turns them into mud. And as you see right here, this is extremely muddy and technically a board and a half is under the mud um, from where it was first built. So our goal next year is to take everything apart, maybe move the barn, and um, Demis wants to say hello. Maybe move the barn and then just rebuild it and then of course build the things up to, the walls up to the roof. So, um, we've got some repairs to do. Um, so we have Peppy's little paddock over here and that's her gate to actually, I can shut her into just the stall. That was a shelter that finally gave away this year, which we have to clean up. But so there's our little mama barn from the outside, an old chicken coop. Um, that's a chicken coop over there. And the other side I keep, it's a eight by eight. This is eight by 16 on this side and the other side's eight by eight. And I keep hay on the other side. And this is the chicken mansion. It is 12 by 16 by nine, I think on the roof, cause the wood is eight. I think there's another foot there. So all y'all that go dancing in the chickens and the roosters, that's where you're dancing. Um, my backyard. Um, so we right now have our brooders we had several mama chickens hatch some eggs and each um, water trough has a mama and babies this one we just moved yesterday so we put the kennel on top to prevent her from going back to the nesting boxes yes I have tons of eggs I have not collected because I've got well, one, two, three, four, five broody hens. And it's just so hard to collect eggs when they're broody. And we actually have a broody turkey. Now her eggs are not fertilized, so they're not gonna hatch. These are our first batch. This batch hatched on Monday. And this batch hatched yesterday. And we have two more down here sitting. So we'll see how many we end up, I stepped on an egg and they're fighting over it. So, but nothing fancy, but everything is well taken care of. Um, one more set up or ready to be set up. Here's our therapy horses over here. There's my riding horse and a friend's horse. These are our extra horses. 
Right now there's only three. Knee high is normally in this pen. Um, and then we took two out to be bred to Jim. And then this is our pasture. So what we'll do is each paddock has a gate going into this pen and we shut that gate there so they can't get into the backyard and we let them out for 24 hours then they go back into their respective fields except for the mamas the mamas can't have grass because fescue can be very detrimental to pregnancy so just a quick tour and a knee high update i hope y'all are having a great day i will see you soon